I want it that way. The great William Montgomery is joining us live from a patio in Los Angeles, California, looking better than ever. I have been, um, I'll just say, well, let's let you, let's see if you acknowledge it first and then I will uh, later on. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to hand it over to William Montgomery until he stops talking. Go ahead, William. It's, uh, um, it's not delivery. It's DiGiorno is what I told my wife when the prostitute showed up a day early. Uh, the guy that invented Adderall must have been on it. <laughs> Call me old. <laughs> Call me old fashioned, but I think a woman's place in the kitchen is in the oven. Uh, here's my newest pickup line. Uh, what's your favorite school shooting? Um, but seriously, a little PSA, people need to stop sending me messages saying I look like Travis McMichael, the guy that murdered Ahmad Arbery. I look nothing like him. I'm a lot more fit than he is. Um, Seriously, people need to stop sending me those messages. It's been nonstop ever since the horrendous murder. There you go. There it was, William <laughs> Montgomery. Ain't nothing but a heartache. You probably get yeah, sent that. shit with any redheaded guy, right? You probably get that all the time. All the fucking time. It's a nightmare. Yeah, but seriously, why'd you shoot that guy yeah. that was just jogging? Uh, I don't like blacks. Yeah? Is your friend there this week? He's not. He's actually no longer with us. Oh, wow. <laughs> what happened to him? He go for a jog? No, we were actually uh, in his Nissan Altima um, shooting out uh, gas station windows, and a cop pulled us over, and he yes, shot him. Um, oh. So Warren's... Warren's no longer with us anymore. He's a really great friend, great guy. Uh, I miss him. I'm out that was here by incredible. That gunshot happened, and a different version of you popped up on the screen. I don't know if I don't know if people saw that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> William, that Adderall joke is unbelievable. That's one of those fucking one in a million one-liners. Uh, <laughs> That is just absolutely incredible. Who wrote that? Um, a good friend in Memphis. Um, <laughs> it's the guy who's writing all my jokes now. I love that. Mr. Montgomery. Yeah. How are y'all doing? I sure miss y'all. I'm still quarantining. I got to go back to work at some point, though. Oh, you have to go back to the storage facility? That seems like uh, one of the more essential jobs that would be happening. Are you sure they didn't just... Uh move on without you without telling you no there's i'm still employed we've talked i haven't worked in like a month and a half which i've loved um but yeah i gotta go back i told him maybe this friday but i might turn it to next friday just because i've gotten so used to not having to go up there wow two of my favorite movies mentioned there friday and next friday <laughs> perhaps even the friday <laughs> after next uh would be the one that you actually show up to work that's fun. Know, how's so your uh, how's we'll your see. girlfriend that beats you doing? How's that going for you? It's been good. I've still been uh, hanging. I'm in uh, yeah, at her grandparents' place in Racina right now. I've pretty much been living over here. Um, it, so the bubonic plague has something. In this time period, you let the woman strike you? Yes, yeah. it's weird. I'm yeah, sort of a somewhat of a pussy in bed and she took advantage of that then it turned into uh, just debacles at the mall or whatever you want to call it it's, yeah it's at the mall but we're working through it yeah 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 we were going to the mall a lot before all this happened what what oh before it before the pandemic yes yeah, so we were going there all the time why uh, what would you do at the mall go to the orange julia stand yeah and do what Get orange Julius's. Wow. <laughs> that, that is. Get a pizza. That's incredible. You had a joke about a prostitute, which reminds me, uh, I didn't mention at the top of the episode, that we are still, we still believe that Manolo will be joining us at the end of this episode. We last week booked a deal 
in which he would write a minute for a real-life Mexican prostitute. We're going to see how this goes. Fingers are crossed all the way that everything goes well going, goes well with that. That's coming up at the end of this episode. What do you think about that, William? A real? Have you ever met a Mexican <laughs> prostitute before? Uh, no. Yeah. Have you ever had a prostitute I, in general or like any hand jobs from a massage parlor or anything? Yeah, there was a nice black lady named Imogene in Memphis who I used to pay for hand jobs. Uh, she's actually no longer with us. Um, How, what happened yeah, to her? It was a fun time. <clears throat> uh, she died, I think, of complications from strep throat. Oh, she was giving blowjobs too, obviously. Yes, yeah, strep throat. Ooh, here comes the bod. Look at that. I've been oh. walking a bunch, y'all. I'm super fit now. Yeah, looks like it. You look fucking great. Yes, you are fit for my era, yes. <laughs> <laughs> William, how are your parents doing back in Tennessee? They're doing good. It was my mom's birthday uh, the day before uh, Mother's Day. So I had a good long conversation with Frances. She's doing well. Uh... Yeah, they're they, all doing well. How far luckily. do they live from Nashville? Uh, Memphis is like a three-hour drive. Oh, all right. Yeah. But yeah, well, they're all good. Well, if they want to come see, uh, if they want to come see uh, Dave Chappelle and Joe Rogan at the end of September, I'd be happy to throw them on my guest list. Cool. Well, I'll let them know. They totally appreciate it. All right. That'd be well. fun. Well, as always, I miss y'all. I wonder when all this will will start back up at the comedy store. I have no idea. That we is true. See. Neither do we. But it seems like Red Band seems to it's have a general idea. It's not going to open in June. <laughs> <laughs> is it not? Anyway, uh, William. Oh, oh, who's that? Who is that? What is that? Come on, stop. That's the grandfather. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you're quarantined with elderly it. people at this time. <laughs> it has been quite the uh, situation, but it's been all right. I it's love that the one the person that even we won't allow in studio is quarantining with elderly people. I know. <laughs> and random black guys here and there whenever they want to come hang out. You guys really just... Exactly. You know what he told me uh, uh, on Brothers is that he... Uh, like when he had his friend come over, mm -hmm. he's like, hey, you know, my friend's going to come over. And he's like, well, don't let him in the house. <laughs> oh, my God. That's why you're on the patio. Now it all makes sense. All right, yes, William, yes. we love you very much. We miss you, and we'll talk to you soon. There he goes, the great William Montgomery, too. everybody. Look at this guy. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time. Here he is, the king of eyebrows. William Montgomery is joining us, everyone. Brand new eyebrows. Wow, he did. He painted those eyebrows in. Look at that. Oh, we're going to talk about that. <laughs> William, go ahead. Tell us what your thoughts have been this week. Uh, I bet the first person to ever get Rick rolled was like, hey, you sent the wrong link to Mandy Mord's nudes. Uh I'm currently writing a reboot to Murder, She Wrote, starring me, William Montgomery. It's called Murder, He Wrote. Uh, I banged my girlfriend so hard last night, I gave her moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Uh, to finish up, it's the 40th anniversary of Dante's Peak. I would like to give a moment of silence for Pierce Brosnan. Definitely got that moment of silence you wanted. <laughs> you still got 20, 20 seconds. If you if you have anything seconds. else, now's the time. If not, we could just start the interview process. Let's start it up. All right. Where'd you get the new eyebrows? They what are you talking the, about? Are those are those from are those Amazon Prime? What seriously? What are y'all talking about? You mentioned something at the beginning. Yeah, you didn't have eyebrows the last few months, and now all of a sudden you have very full. Yeah. You're looking very I, Latina is what he's trying to say. Yeah. Can you zoom in on those a little bit? This way. Can you hold the phone closer to those eyebrows? Closer? Wow. Yeah, that looks like a drawing. Yeah. It's actually a lot of makeup right below the eyebrows as well. Prosthetics, maybe even. No, these yeah. are real. I think if... <laughs> 
Why are you squinching your face like that? (laughs) (laughs) Seriously, William, where'd where'd you get, how'd you grow those this week? Uh, it's a, oh my God, it's such a log pry. A lot of aloe vera. Oh, is that covering up bruises? Is that a joke? No. Yeah. I've, uh, it's aloe vera. Um, I put that on and they're really coming in good. Do y'all like them? Yeah. No, it's great. I like your bandana too. What's going on up there? That's new. I can't figure out how to do this phone thing. You're doing a good job. Move the bandana back a little bit. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Perfect. Now I can see better? you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is great. Is that better? Yeah. How, how are y'all doing? We're doing good. We're doing great. This, this, could... look, this looks like if a leprechaun laid an egg. <laughs> you can like if you if you look at him right now you, and imagine him with no hair, like head hair or yeah. face hair, you can see what he would look like if he was completely bald and shaved. Oh yeah, it's great. This is him. <laughs> this is him at the end of his Man on the Moon movie. It is. Yes, he, looks, he looks like Joe Pesci and JFK. Anyway, Where you mentioned Joe Pesci, I just I saw Twins this past week. I love it. He was really good in that. I don't really see the Joe Pesci or the JFK so much. You know, like when Joe Pesci has like makeup on in JFK, he's all like his hair's all fucked up. Oh, Joe Pesci in JFK. In the movie, JFK. Oh, I thought you said Joe Pesci and JFK. Like simultaneously, like, I was confused as well. I'm like, wow, it definitely doesn't look like either one of those guys. That's a interesting. Yeah, that kind of sucks, dude. What? That kind of sucks, dude. Shut up. Oh, at least Whoa. I got real eyebrows. Oh my goodness. These are real as shit. Are you serious? Are you fucking with me right now? I wonder how long they'll last. Can you rub one for a little bit and we can see how how sturdy they are? Like rub it, t- actually touch it. Rub it up and down. Yeah, I'm rubbing it really hard right now. You're rubbing it side to side. Can you rub? rub? He's not even touching his head. <laughs> no, you're not even touching it. Rub it up and There's down. Come glue on. on. There's a bunch of glue stick on me. I have been watching RuPaul's Drag Race, and I put the glue stick on underneath, and then I painted them on. Well, yeah, it looks like there's a bug stuck to one of them, that one right there. Yeah, you have some dirt. <laughs> <laughs> My room's pretty dirty right now. Can we see it? Can you take us in? Show us your room, please. That would actually be super entertaining to get some insight on what your actual life yes. is like. Come on, take us on a little fucking adventure, William. Do something outside of the box. Come on. Yeah. Don't overthink it. Come on, William. Be fun. I don't think it's a good idea. Why? Yeah. Tell us the honest reason why. I don't want to do the bear bad news. I'm just not go. I'm, I can't. I'm not. Why? I don't know. It's fine. I'm just not going. I, I can't. You can't go into your own room? There's piss all over the bed, probably. No, I can't. I'm not even, I'm, I'm not at my place, so it's not even my room. Yeah, you are. We can tell. This is where you've been all month. <laughs> it's not my place, though. Take us inside. It Just seems do like it. You're, you're overthinking it. I've never seen you this scared to do anything before. I don't think he's allowed in the house right now. No, he is. We're not going to make excuses for him. Go. Yeah, I mean, it's a bad idea if I go in right now. Why is it a bad idea? William is yeah, more I just of an think outdoor it's a bad idea. guest. I'm more I think of an it, outdoor guest. I think it's a good idea. I want you to do it. Come on. I never ask you for anything. I want to see what your dirty bedroom looks like. It's not my bedroom. And it's not a dirty one either. Well, what is not... it? We find out he's staying... Huh? Oh, so you've been lying this whole time. Are those even real eyebrows? Yeah, these are real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean, lying about what? You said you had a dirty bedroom. But you don't even have a I bedroom, do. and it's not dirty. I do have one, but I'm not at my place right now. We find out he's been staying in a dog kennel this entire time. <laughs> we find out he's right outside this building. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, fair enough. Here, let me... uh all right, here we go. Yeah. This is exciting. Oh, he's, it, appear, <laughs> it appears as if he's going to a different person's house altogether. Jesus. <laughs> Was that 
Yeah, how do I flip the photo? Around? It's hard to see. Where, where, where are you, do you live in? He's in a shed. Are you in the Michael Myers house? Is this the, the Blair? Is this the Blair bitch project? What is this? You didn't really need to video. figure out how to use your phone, man. How long have you had the phone? I know this is hard. He's literally <laughs> right back to where he was. Yeah, that was great stuff, William. <laughs> I really, really feel like I went on a journey with this guy. I feel like I know him now. William, the president has been taking hydroxychloroquine for the last week and a half. He's also been on Florafoam for three weeks. <laughs> also, um, Zythrosin, the yes. Z-Pack. Azithromycin. Azithromycin. Yep. And uh, how about you? What drugs have you been on lately? Anything interesting? Like chlorophyll, anything like that? Did you mention President Hydroxy cut earlier? Yep. Um, How about you? What drugs have you been taking? A lot of amoxicillin. Oh. Okay. Hit strep throat all week. Really? Yep. It's bad. Seems like, seems like you've been getting that a lot lately. Every week. I have. I have. But, um, yeah, it's getting better. It's uh, amoxicillin helps. It's a pink. Pink little drug. Um, it's true. I'm, also I'm sorry. I wish I was in my place. I feel like that messed everything up. I feel like this is probably one of my best sets. And then I. Do you ever go to your place room. anymore? Or are you just strictly staying with your girlfriend who doesn't inspire you at all and drags you down? She's great. No, don't. Hold on. This is uh -huh. getting really bad. No, yeah, I, she's very I nice. I, have, I haven't been in my place in a little while. Right. I'll say that. Have you been getting a lot of work done? Have you been productive, making content or writing or creating? Or going back to work? Totally. No, I'm going, uh, yeah, I'm back at work um, and creating a bunch of content. <laughs> like um, what? what? What content? I play a lot of tic-tac-toe against this computer and I throw in jokes some of the time. It's been a really big hit. Okie dokie. William, we love you. We miss you. And we'll talk we'll talk to you next week. Okay, so that's good. There, Bye. there goes William Montgomery. William.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. I believe that's also his Gmail password for those of you interested in breaking in on his email. And we're gonna roll, you guys can keep playing. We're gonna roll right into William Montgomery. There he is. Whoa. Ryan Nashman, why'd you say all that bullshit, dude? What happened to your eyebrows? Talk to we Go ahead, William. Go ahead, William. Take Elliot, the floor for a little bit. You, uh, I'm a big Jay Z fan, specifically Hard Knock Life. That's all I listen to. Uh, I'm in a tub up to six hours a day now. It's not funny. It's no joke. I have a diabetic dog. Hey, Tony, do you think Red Band's ever seen Pete's Dragon? Uh, met my girlfriend at the X Games. Uh, she was a half pipe. Joe Biden's so old, he can't remember where he buried those kids' bodies. <laughs> okay, there's a minute from William Montgomery. How are y'all doing? I love it, man. Some jokes. I love you've kept writing. I, don't, I didn't really get like any of them, but <laughs> but they probably would have gotten laughs in front of a big sold out crowd like a normal Monday. What's Pete's yeah, Dragon? I don't get it. It's a great, uh, the, well, at least the original one was a great movie. Uh, a movie. Yeah, a hell of a movie. But you know, it, it, it sucks because a lot of people don't know about Pete's Drive because it came out the same day as Star Wars. Can you imagine wow. releasing a movie the same day Star Wars, the first Star Wars ever came out? But wow. they remade I don't it think that's correct. Reason. I don't think that's correct. It is. It came out in 1977. I heard Pete the Dragon Part 2 came out the same day as Mandalorian, which is better than all of the Star Wars movie in the whole this world. This is true. Yes, absolutely. And uh, your girlfriend being a half pipe, explain that one to us, William. I went to an X Games in uh, uh, Tampa, Florida, uh, shit, five years ago, and I met this really nice girl. Uh, I'd been drinking some. I, I started kissing her, and I realized I was kissing the side of this wooden structure. It turns out it was a half pipe. 
Uh, Are your eyes Are closed? You? Are you a samurai warrior or something? What What's happening on? right now? Y'all see that? I don't know what is going on. It's not good. <laughs> And the difference between your <laughs> eyes and eyebrows last week to this week yeah. is incredible. <laughs> you look like you own a Chinese restaurant or something. <laughs> Albino Bobby Lee. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or chicken. chicken. <laughs> yes. That's the first funny thing you've ever said, you dumb, stupid dog. <laughs> wow. Hell yes. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, oh, my no. goodness. If yeah, you were... If you were a food while orange chicken is on the table, uh, oh wait, who's that? Hold on. Who was that? That's uh. That's his girlfriend. His girlfriend, his parents or uh, grandparents. I want William to tell me no, who was good. that, was William. Around. What? Come on, it's my uncle. It's my uncle. I'm back in Memphis. Come on. Okay. <laughs> wow, you have the exact same shed as last week. Anyway, um. So, if you were a food, if you were a food, what food would you be? Probably a hard-boiled egg. <laughs> yeah. Explain to us why you consider yourself a hard-boiled egg. Because it, get, it gets to Easter time, and everybody knows I, I'm a follower of Jesus, and we end up boiling some eggs for the Easter egg hunt, and... We accidentally make some of them hard boiled and let's talk about your eyes again for a second. <laughs> are they are they are they are they is something wrong? Are you allergic to something? Yeah, are you having a yeah, food? I hope not. Tell us. Tell us <laughs> what know. you think it is, William. I got stung in the head uh, by a wasp earlier. <laughs> 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 no, I did. Seriously, I got stung in the face where? by a wasp. Where in the head did you get stung? <laughs> right there? <laughs> my goodness. I got he stung right here over here by a wasp. I can't open my fucking eyes. So I got to drive us. tonight. I got to go far tonight. Yeah, where are you driving to tonight? Uh, some drug dealing deal, whatever, in Inglewood. Yeesh. Okay, what kind of drugs are you dealing? Ecstasies. <laughs> Oh my God! Are you sure you didn't take it already? He looks the happiest. I've yeah, I know. He looks like he is <laughs> fucked up right now. Like he's got those no, I'm not, eyes. No, I'm not. My parents watch this. My parents watch this. I'm not. Well, your parents are gonna. Or your parents are gonna wonder the same thing. Why your eyes are closed during this episode? Getting stung in the head by a wasp is not necessarily a believable story. Right. I guess stung Especially, in the face. Yeah, well, you didn't pick the right part. You pointed at your forehead. That wouldn't even close your eyes. Yeah, you look poached. Poached? Yeah, for you eggs? Don't, you don't look hard boiled at all. <laughs> poached egg? I'm not, dude. I'm not poached. I'm hard boiled. Okay. I am. William, you look great. And and you know, you're just you're just a great little source of I don't know what the I don't know what the right word is. Miss you all. When can I start coming back by the studio? When is this happening? When you're just gonna be a few more a few more months. When, when you don't look sick. Yeah, you, you look sick right now. <laughs> <laughs> you're not allowed to I am sick right now. But I love this set that you made. You have a you have a mannequin head behind you. Is that your friend? His girlfriend. You see that. Can you get a load of that one? Yeah, you did that, huh? Yeah, it's like that. It looks like a it's a real person behind me. Yeah, it looks hey, exactly like a real person. Hey Angela. Hey Angela. Oh, that's uh, her name? Hey Angela. What kind of food would she be if she was a food? What do you think what type of food would she be? Probably a chicken Thai cuisine. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, the coconut flavor, the just the coconut flavor of that. How did they do that, those Thai people? It is incredible. I think they might use coconuts. <laughs> Maybe some coconut milk. I love it. I love that kind of food. I think you might be allergic to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what did you eat today? What have you ate today? Would all, yeah, would y'all be scared if I was in there right now? Should I be I'm gonna, scared right yes. now? I'm going to take a guess. Did I did be you scared eat right now? Did you eat? A, did you eat bread today? Did you have a sandwich today? What'd you actually eat? All yeah, jokes eat? aside, William. What'd you eat? Yeah, I had an uh, Italian sandwich with uh, uh, 
ham, turkey. Keep going. She, it had, it was bread. I mean, really, it scares me now. Y'all asking me this. Does it really look like a, it's Your bad? eyes look closed right now. You yeah, know. they look closed. They, it looks like you ate something that you're allergic to. Like gluten? You should lay off bread for a little bit, dude. Lay off the gluten. Okay, I mean, this scares me now. Give it a try. Because the guy before okay. you looks like a version of you that uh, is so much healthier. Maybe that's yeah. it. Oh, maybe that's what we. That's yeah. that's, yeah, that's what. Maybe it is. this is how I always look. And also, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I All always right. just look like this. All right, I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. Wow. Your eyes are closed. Your eyes are fucked up. Like when here. did you start drinking today? What time? Oh, uh, six a.m. Okay. <laughs> there he goes, William Montgomery. Everybody, <laughs> William, we love you. Right. This is that time, as you people see, the one, the only, William Montgomery is here. Here's William Montgomery. Oh, my Jesus, thank you. He heard that I was a Jesus. There he is, William Montgomery. Hello, William. How's it going? I'm actually a Jesus freak. No, I'm kidding. This is about to be, I am, but this is about to be probably my best set. Um, I'm proud. I'm proud to announce I'm joining the Mighty Morphin Power Bottoms. Uh, Paul Walker, more like Paul Crasher. I heard the reason Paul Walker crashed was because the director forgot to say cut. So I've got a La La Land joke. Uh, what's red, white, and blue? It's Emma Stone's body at the bottom of a pool. Um... So I guess the question is, what happens to George Floyd's counterfeit money? You think he left it in the will? I'm not fucking with it. <laughs> Seriously, what happens to his money? I'm a George Floyd fan. I was at Neiman Marcus earlier, looting televisions, you name it. I'm a George Floyd guy. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. It's filled with black people. I like black people. I just say, I mean, black what happens to his counterfeit matters. money? What happens to his counterfeit money? I don't know. Who set up the will? William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. I mean, here's what I'm going to say is that you know, 75% of the way through that set, I'm thinking to myself, wow, a Paul Walker joke from 11 years ago being used like it happened last week, like it's controversial or something like that. Meanwhile, what it did was is it completely set me up to think that, well, it's not going to, you know, he's not going to get better than that, right? And then, boom, the, the, it was the ultimate misdirect because it set us up for a super topical George Floyd. That's, <laughs> really? why I'm, that's that's why i'm looting and and pillaging i'll be quite frank i'm not black you can tell from the color of my skin i'm not black but i'm gonna pillage i'm gonna pillage for that guy david what do you like think about pirate. that aren't you cool about that? <laughs> what have you been pillaging exactly liquor store literally you i was at a neiman marcus pillaged. earlier i was at a neiman marcus earlier i got some sandals how many pairs of sandals? Like four size four. So I don't know if any, I can drop my eBay account after this or whatever, but. Yeah, Pull I the phone it. back a little four bit. You got a haircut, huh? Let's see it. Oh, wow. Hmm. He, like a, he like a grown ass Opie from uh, Andy Grisham. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow you continue to look more and more like the principal from Billy Madison as time goes on. I caramba. I guess so. I guess so, William. So how do you like your new haircut? It's been cool. It's uh it's helped me swim. Yeah. Can you can you put your chin down a bit? Can we see what the top looks like? <laughs> You're a little bit shy about that? <laughs> Dean as a bitch. <laughs> What'd yeah. you just say, David? Dean, you need some more pine straw on your head. Hold on, wait, show I us need some more pine straw. 
show show us the lawn behind you for a second. Go back to the lawn again. Put it over your head. Show us the lawn behind you. Yeah, we never get to see what it looks like out there. You got to get a bike stack. You're not showing us the lawn. Look at that poster. Yep, we see the poster. Show us the lawn. How do you get over here? I'm Hold serious. the phone up. How do you get it? <laughs> it's interesting. It looks exactly like uh <laughs> Forget it. I can't do the joke because you're not showing me the lawn properly for some weird reason. Uh, how big is that fucking picture of you behind you? God, it's like two two feet by three feet. Wow. I and just that doesn't need, upset I, the, the grandparents that you're you're mooching off of for the last two no, months? It doesn't. That... Stop, 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 stop. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they don't like to see a naked picture of their <laughs> their niece's boyfriend that won't leave their, their house for three boyfriend. months. Is that what it is? Their niece's Whatever boyfriend? Whatever she is. Are you wearing dentures? <laughs> you have great teeth, William. I never really noticed it before, but now that... Uh, Dr. Watson. Now that you're starting to randomly cut your hair and your eyebrows off, I'm starting to notice other features about you that I've never noticed before. You must have a tushy. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same water you brush your teeth with. <laughs> William, have you been working at the storage place at all during this? Uh, I'm starting again tomorrow. So, yeah, tomorrow. starting again tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. What time tomorrow? Uh, 9.30. Uh -huh. PM. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been eating and drinking? Tell us a bit about your diet. What's been going on in, with your nutrition lately? A lot of tomato soup. A lot of uh, a lot of the drink you pour in uh, two percent milk. I think it's called. It's what is it called? It's not. A, it's a uh, not a Nestle. Not a. It has vitamins and minerals. Is it um, Ovaltine? I'm going to tell you this. Yes, your, brother, yes, yes. your brother in cursive here, David Lucas, is in studio as a guest, and uh, he's looking better than ever. Yeah, all, this, all this marching is really paying off. Hey, <laughs> 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 I, well, I told you to tell people that your job, you don't feel comfortable. What did you say? Huh? I told I told you to tell those people at the storage place you don't feel comfortable and get on unemployment. Can you say that a little bit slower? I can't understand you. I'll text it to you, bro. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> William, anything else? Uh, anything else crazy this week? Yeah, I actually uh, became a member of a subreddit for crocodiles. People get at the circus or fair or whatever, and I, I flushed one down the toilet a couple nights ago, and I'm worried. Uh, in the sewer system out here in Reseda, there's a super crocodile and food down in the sewer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, William, we're gonna keep, we're gonna get going, and we're gonna let you sober up before you have to be at work tomorrow at 9:30 p.m. <laughs> there he is, William Montgomery, everybody. It's time for William Montgomery. Lights out, William Montgomery, the big red machine. Here he is. Hi, William. How's it going, y'all? I'm pretty juiced tonight. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's my ringtone now, juice.com. Uh... <laughs> um... He was oh, waiting wow. to see uh, if there was a delay or something like that. There's no delay, William. Just keep going. That reverb? Uh, Ryan Gosling is married to Eva Mendez, which almost, which is almost as surprising as finding out Danny DeVito was married to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, say what you will about Scientologists, but goddamn, can they act best damn actors in all the pyramid scheme religion industry? I'm not joining. I'm a Christian. Boy, I screwed up this time. I wanted to start a GoFundMe 
for the guy that got killed in Minneapolis, but I got the names mixed up. So if you want to donate money to the Criminal Defense Fund, link is in the bio. <laughs> Can I say my last two jokes? Wow. Anybody Can want to guess if that was too long of a stinger? <laughs> Does anybody, anybody want to take a wild? Yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I will. It yeah. was. <laughs> yes, William, you could do your last joke. Oh, yes. Go ahead, William. Hey, Red Van, I bought a book recently called The Bible. Maybe you should look into it. <laughs> oh! And my hey. actual last one. Oh, there you go. It's always funny. Funnier the and second then, uh, time. And then finally, uh, why didn't L.A. Gear get a bailout? How many more fucking jokes do you have, William? Yeah, and, and, and like you just told me to go look up the Bible. That's is that a joke? What do you fucking think it is, Red Band? I think you need to paint some black stripes over you, Garfield. Whoa! <laughs> I think you need to start kissing black girls because we all know you have. Whoa, that's true, actually. Isn't it is it? true. Whoa. You were on camera, man. We've seen you in Anaconda. Wow, you were in Anaconda? I was. I remember A lot of people that. didn't Great know job. that I was the You were the snake. redheaded guy that choked on the wasp in the in the tank. How was that movie? Uh, Red Man, was it fun? We all read it was fun. Jesus, you're wasted tonight, aren't you? <laughs> William, a lot eyes. of people have been talking about uh, about perhaps you have uh, begun a drinking problem once again, that you start drinking early in the day, that meanwhile, you know, even though you're still very talented, you're able to keep it together and do great performances, um, people are saying that they are concerned for your health. Just drink. Who's saying that? Ardell Stein? Um, your your peers, your family, and your doctors are saying that. Richard Peers? <laughs> yes. I had sex with his daughter, Raw oh. Dog. Um, Put my penis in her bottom. She had preparation H on her hole. Yeah, I was doing that. I'm a Christian. We're going to check in with Gary. Uh, Dwayne Wilcox over here. Uh, honest question, William. Oh, yes. Um now, is it the lighting uh, right now, or do you have jaundice? Yeah, I was about to say, it's my jaundice. Oh, it's jaundice. <laughs> I'm starting to get concerned when you say, can I do my last joke? Because I feel like it could be your last joke. <laughs> do you want to quit fucking saying that? Do you want to quit fucking everything, maybe? This is an intervention. William, let's check in with the, uh, with the red spot on your chest. Is that doing any better, or is it worse? Let's do our... Uh... Totally weekly right. update can here. we check in with my nephew he has a yes. joke for y'all yes absolutely are you gonna put the camera on him what's we up go. hello you ready for the joke i don't know yes <laughs> okay say it faster you've already messed us up no yes. this was yes, he has. Be hilarious. there was a series of murders involving a picnic basket so the police had to reopen the basket case. Hilarious. Hilarious. Well, Have y'all ever heard such like a that. thing? Yeah, on Laffy Taffy. Laffy Taffy? What are you talking about? D4L? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Is that David Lucas? That's a black joke for real. Yeah, What's we up, allowed David Hey, David, Luke where are you, man? I'm He's actually streaming from the bathroom. <laughs> Luckily for that, he has yellow fever. Oh. Hey, Will, don't let that motherfucker tell another joke, dog. William, what have you been? Uh, what have hey, you been man, doing? Kind of mean. That motherfucker tell popsicle jokes, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I, ju I just made that up earlier. Today. It's my fucking nephew. Uh, man, get your broke late, Bill, dude. not a science guy, looking ass up out of here. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's really. <laughs> William, uh, my God, what you, I thought. What, that what have you been doing to stay healthy as of late during the um, during this quarantine and riots and whatnot? A lot of, a lot of bananas, a lot of potassium, a lot of oranges, a lot of vitamin C, a lot of apples, a lot of vitamin A. You're a fruitarian. 
Criterion, yes. That's my uncle, Richard Criterion. <laughs> no. No, not Criterion. That is a lover of croutons. You are a a fruitarian, a man who only eats the fruits. My name is Michael Fruitarian. I uh, am happy to meet you all tonight. Uh, I greatly apologize for being sort of the first person you all are going to see at, a, at an all-you-can-eat buffet, but Trust me, this place is safe. Okay. Okay, Michael Frutarian. Are you Armenian? Uh, you could say that in the in the ankles and the penis. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm probably going to get a text from your parents after this appearance here tonight. Tony, don't, don't say that. <laughs> Tony, don't, don't say that. No, I won't. I won't say it again. Thank you so much. Are you about to cry? What's going on over there? <laughs> you this can say that. Bro, you gotta leave that liquor alone, bro. You looking like Michael Jordan from his documentary in the eyes. <laughs> yeah, you look like Michael Jordan's eyeballs. <laughs> right, hey, David, work on the delivery. I don't get it. Hey, William, work on yourself. <laughs> All right. Okay, Joe there goes Martin. William Montgomery, yeah, everybody. We, we love you, William. We love you. Good stuff. Right. William Montgomery. <laughs> William.F.Montgomery. Mario Tonti. Hello. So uh, let's just jump right in. You're no longer with your girlfriend? <clears throat> no, uh, she's with someone else right now. Uh, she's actually, uh, I don't know if I want to, oh, fuck it. Uh, she's actually uh, the girl that's with William. What? <laughs> to explode wow are you fucking serious wow yeah i'm serious this is amazing so here, here's how here's how i realized it okay like so when, when we when we like kind of stopped talking she had she had some acid and then if then a couple months maybe like a month later william was in the on doing his set and then in his interview he said i still remember it he said uh acid grandparents house and Reseda. and i'm like that's fucking her dude <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, my also, God. Anyway, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, one of our regulars, a brilliant, brilliant mind, a beautiful face, the one, the only, William Montgomery is here. What's that, bitch? Hi, William. Here's What's that William, song, Mon bitch? William Montgomery. <laughs> uh, newsflash, Sting defunded the police years ago. Uh, I watched the movie The Fly recently. What are the odds? <laughs> Can you imagine if now you had George Floyd's counterfeit money? That money is now worth more than it never was in the first place. Uh, does this mean I have to throw away my Confederate flag dog collar I make my daughter wear? Um... I heard George Floyd, George Floyd's last words were to make change for a 20. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. There you go. William Montgomery is now, uh, he has, uh, there you go. There's William Montgomery. <laughs> There's William. Yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> hey, I just, I just want to first and foremost say the guy that used to go out with Erica, um, I just want you to know I'm fucking her in the butt now. You, piece of shit. you used to stalk her. You with you went out with her three years ago, you piece of shit. For two fucking months. You left fucking notes on her goddamn car with rose petals. How how much of a faggot are you? I'm oh sick my of goodness her. gracious. Can we bleep that? Is there a delay there? To protect yeah, something? this is my buddy no. from uh, from uh, England. That's right, yeah, Mario. You got something coming from me here. You got an open invitation to a nice cup fest, yeah. 
You know, watch my yeah, Mar- Mario, you want to watch me fuck her? Give me a thousand bucks. I got is that her? Bit. Is that the girl? Is yeah, that Erica? That I've never her. seen her before. Is yeah. that what she looks like? Yeah, that's her. She's terrifying. Oh, that's an Englishman. What are you yeah. talking about? That's, an that's great. It's great to be hanging out with Russell Brand during this time. Yeah. You you are the least quarantining person I've ever fucking I know. seen through this yeah, whole I've thing, been William. Yeah, sick as a motherfucker, dude. Yeah. I've been sick as a motherfucker, dude. <laughs> Do you went back to work this week, huh? Yeah, you could say that. Tell us about it. <laughs> what Why do you mean? Voice crack? <laughs> You're so angry. <laughs> Tell us about how work was this week, William. Yeah, it was a bunch of people watching The Color Purple. I don't like that movie. Oh, my goodness. That reminds me. Do the math on that one. You still have n- okra, or like okra. I like fried okra. Wow, I think you're the first person to ever make an okra okra joke. <laughs> yeah, in the hey, history. Red Band, you told me to say that. Come on, man, take credit for that. Well, that was <laughs> that was <laughs> 25 <laughs> years ago when the movie like came what? out. <laughs> Red Band. But William, I will on, say, you Let's did get it. it out in the open. You don't like blacks. Okay, all right. Very, very compelling. Well, no, you're kidding. just looking for married a fight. To a black lady. Black I'm kidding. Lives He's married to matter. a black lady. Oh, my goodness gracious. William, I love oh your uh, sting, defund the police joke. I absolutely love your George Floyd's money is worth more than ever. You have uh, you have created uh, two amazing George Floyd jokes um, about his money. That is very, very cool that you've done that. It is, yeah, it's a part, I mean, there's all these protests going on. I think people forget the real reason why the cops killed him. He was oh, in God. there right. using counterfeit money. Okay, all right. He's. This is. No, I'm kidding. My dad uses counterfeit money. I'm kidding. <laughs> I know. I know. I was going to say you're kidding, too. I'm, cool I'm glad that. you did. I'm cool with that. Very good. Absolutely, William. That's good. I'm really cool with that. How have y'all me- been doing? We're good. We're good. It makes me wonder, you know, when comedy clubs do open back up, if there's jokes like what William is talking about, subject matter. I thought you were going to say if they'll let William in. Yeah, if if clubs are going to be like, hey, no jokes. What did you just say, Dick? Because you're so angry. What comedy club would be? Yeah, I'm pissed. I can tell. That guy last week talking about get with my girlfriend. Yeah. Hey, news to the guy. I have a crush on him. (laughs) <laughs> I like how he looks. What's <laughs> happening? What's the? What's I like the, how that guy looks. What's the unfunny Englishman spraying on you? That's just engaging his rage sensor. Make sure this cuckoo really gets his coming. Yeah. Uh, they have right. bad acting school in every country, huh? <laughs> My goodness! Wow. <laughs> the what you guys Good thought? Man, stop. <laughs> that guy's worse than your girlfriend, man. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Oh my gosh, funny one, you bitch. <laughs> Thank you, but I'm on the last one. It's incredible how huh? dark it has gotten behind you since we started this phone call a few <laughs> minutes ago. It has, literally. All right, William Montgomery <laughs> uh, with another new submission. Is there anything else crazy we should uh, anything else crazy we should know about or yeah, talk about? I like the Ninja Turtles. Yeah, what do you like about them? Uh, Leonardo, wait, Leonardo, where's your mom? <laughs> okay, there he goes, William Montgomery, everybody. Thank you, William. There you go. We love you, William. Okay. Well, we have a. Uh, this is the part of the show where we get to check in with one of our regulars, one of our favorite human beings on the planet. It is time for William Montgomery. William Montgomery. 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 Here he is, William Montgomery. How are you, William? You're a man, uh-huh. um, First off, I want to say happy Father's Day to all of the virgin incels. Uh, dude, why do you have a giant collection of feet? That is my impression of me walking into a footlocker. Uh, please direct me to the nearest footlocker. That is my impression of a cannibal walking into a shopping mall. Uh, Why was Santa Claus at the shopping mall in July? 
He has Alzheimer's. Um, are they filming a protest or an N1 mixtape? Uh, it's a nightmare that Burt Kreischer is stealing my use of saying the word nightmare as I do. What's y'all's take on that one? I just saw what that. Just, Tony that just showed me that. That's pretty weird. I want to see proof that he did it's that just five like years me. ago. There go. Go ahead, William. What go are ahead. you saying? It sounds just like me. What I'm saying is I discovered this past week I could put my mushrooms in my inhaler. And I'll be quite frank with y'all. I've been eating a bunch of the Jamaican chocolate. It's called Almond Joy. <laughs> <laughs> you did it again. I've been climbing a bunch of magnolia trees uh, down south. Uh, yeah, I climb trees. What up? <laughs> Wait, what? Can you do the punchline again? I didn't hear it. Hey, what's up, y'all? I've been eating a bunch of almond joys. No, but I just, the, the, just, just the magnolia tre in trees a bunch yeah. recently. Uh, I apologize, y'all. I've been eating almond joys. I fell out this tree. Oh, there wasn't. There wasn't a punchline. That's why I got yeah. confused. What do you mean? What does that mean, Jody? I'll be quite frank. I apologize for the jokes I said last week. My YouTube page is now AWOL. Yeah, yeah, that is true. William you, Montgomery's YouTube page got... Do you, do you take responsibility? Do Can you? you say that in English, you piece of shit? I take responsibility. Oh, someone takes responsibility for yeah, you. Yeah, do you also? Do you take yeah, responsibility? Yeah, really funny of that piece of shit to do that. Was that Yonder Wizard? I take responsibility. Someone else takes responsibility for your YouTube page, it turns out. Wow, that is, without a doubt, that is Aaron Paul, right? Yeah. Is that his name? Yeah. From Breaking Bad. I take responsibility. It sounds like the guy from Breaking Bad is taking responsibility for your YouTube page. Just going down. me and he and me, just in Jamaica, we're at the, the Mars candy bar factory. Mm -hmm. And he's like, hey, uh, are you going to take these? And I'm like, yeah, these are called all bitch woods. Mm -hmm. And he just says, hey, what are you talking about? We in Jamaica. Oh, that's a great impression. We had oh. Gilbert Gottfried impressions earlier, but your Jamaican is perfect. Yeah, I don't like it. It's... Who said that? That Maybe is just something about Jamaica that I don't like. I, I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it. It's not America. What are you talking about? It's not America. You're right. That's it. There's just something about it. I just feel like if I was there, I'd feel outnumbered. William, where are you? Not. Are you on the usual back porch that you're usually on? I totally am. Hey, Tony. Yep. I don't know. You know, I don't normally do this, but can I tell my best Jamaican joke? Absolutely. We would love to hear your best Jamaican joke. Here it is. Y'all just picture me at Showtime at the Apollo. Just the clown. I'm looking at him on the side of the, the curtains. I just put my hands on the log and I open up with this. The corner breaker. You crack the corner in the back. That is a book I'm working on. Uh, about an American code breaker that goes down to Jamaica to crack the code, the biggest, the biggest code Jamaica's ever seen. And in the middle of the guy cracking the code, a Jamaican guy taps his shoulder and he says, "The code breaker, you cracking the code for the night." That last part where it sort of trickles out—is that what you think Jamaicans sound like? Uh, you could say that, Tony. Okay. All right. Well, that's cool. This episode is brought to you by Adam and Eve. Have you ever used any sex toys for real, William? You make up a lot of stories, but a genuine question. I can see your face just got very serious, and I'm expecting a very yeah, no, serious I, answer. I grew up putting balloons in my bottom. Your balloons? Were they blown up already, or were they just unblown up uh, rubber balloons? They were the long balloons that you blow up, and there's a hand thing on it, and you bop them with your fist. I used to put them things oh. so far in my butt. Oh. Hey, Red Band, did you just do that dumbass noise? <laughs> yeah, I, I did. Your girlfriend Fuck gave it to you, me for dude. free. I put two in your asshole, you wow. bitch. You wish you could fit two in my asshole. You can't even fit your yeah, pinky in my asshole. Yeah, I wish I could see your asshole. Yeah, I you want to see it? Well, then why don't you come over right now and look at it? Oh, my God. Okay, we'll go in the bathroom. again, bitch. You guys are I so weird. I want to spread those cheeks. Clean oh. it for me, will you? Oh, God. Yeah, I'd love to clean it for you. Please. Give me your address. Bring it. <laughs>
Oh my God. I want to touch your butthole. I feel like it looks pink. What would, what, what would a Jamaican guy say if he saw Red Band's butthole? Oh, ruin the butt. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> that's Jamaican? Ruin the butt. You crack it a cold, cold breaker. Ruin the butt. He only knows how to say code breaker in Jamaican. The code breaker. William, what, what else has been going on with you this week? I've been climbing up trees, dude. How far up a tree have you gotten? And are there Probably any pictures two of this? stories up at Magnolia, off of Magnolia uh, Avenue. That's a street up here for all of my Filipino listeners. Yeah. Uh, it actually, yeah, it has some magnolias. Mm-hmm. I get probably 30 feet off the ground, and then I can't read the oh, wow. Is there a tree in the backyard that you can, like, put your phone down and set it down so you can, can, you can you watch it? Can you say that a little slower, you bitch? <laughs> Is there a, a tree in your back that you can climb up? That can we you can climb watch? a tree in my backyard? Can you dude, climb a tree right now? Up. Can you climb a tree right now? Can you have somebody hold the phone while you climb a tree? Because that would be podcast history. I guarantee you that in the history of not only this show, but in the history of podcasts, there's no way anybody's ever c- climbed a tree live. Will you please do Climbing that for us? Climbing a tree? Yeah. Yes. Will you climb a tree right now? You know, we improvise these things on this show. So I'm asking you if that's something you'd be willing to do. Yes. Here yeah, we go. Here we go. Yeah, this I'm is amazing. Go this is podcast history, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. This is like when JFK was shot and they went live to uh, whoever that newscaster guy was. He's about to climb a tree without a permit. Oh, my God. Yes. It's, a, it's okay, Karen. This it's is okay. very it exciting. It looks American. <laughs> You know, I think we should get a little bit emotional here for a second. And I'm going to tell you that when this quarantine started and, you know, us being the only podcast that is naturally and always organically filmed in front of a live audience, that we thought that this could be our downfall. And obviously, clearly, our show has taken a hit. It's stock without having a live audience. We can't do as edgy of jokes as we would like to do because we always rationalized it on a crowd laughing. We thought it was our downfall, but when you never give up and you continue to strive in this business, magical things can happen. And this right now, for the first time in podcast history, is a man climbing a tree, and that man is William Montgomery. How's it going, y'all? I'm probably uh, five stories up. (laughs) (laughs) Um, That's it? You can't go any farther. Yeah, go farther for our audience. Hello, Come on, it's you are streaming now to thousands of people. That's as high as you're gonna go. Police, there is an orangutan in the tree in my front yard right now. Please, somebody get here, or I'm gonna shoot it. Keep going, William. You can do it. We believe in you. We believe in you. This is the highlight of the quarantine for Kill Tony. <laughs> the only place to, to go is up. Foothold. Can we? Can the can the cameraman step back a bit? Because we're not convinced that you uh, are even really. <laughs> can you get the ground in the shot, cameraman? Whoa! Whoa look oh, at him go. Oh, he's way up there. Hey, what's up, Cole? I'm probably five stories up. <laughs> five stories. Yeah. My goodness, this is incredible. You know what else has never happened? No one's ever fallen out of a tree before yeah. in podcast history. <laughs> you, you, what am I? <laughs> I think you can break the code if you know what I'm saying. All right. My foot is stuck. This has been fun, but my foot does hurt. Wow. This is like if Cops was brought back wow. for just one night I only. believe it. He's five stories up. White men never lie. He's up there. Yeah. Wow. For sure. I'm this... trying to get down. <laughs> cameraman, back up so we can see him fall. Yeah. Come on, cameraman. <laughs> We don't need a close-up right now. Oh, my goodness. At oh. least he's down to, like, three or four yes. stories. Oh, there he is. Wow. William Montgomery, podcast What's history. Up, y'all? Y'all do- is there anything you want to say to the people after you just cl- were the first man to climb a tree live and kill t- in podcast history? <laughs> How's it going, y'all? Y'all listen to 4,000 Degrees by Juvenile. Mm-hmm. I'm on one of the tracks. Oh, I didn't know that. What part are you? Oh, my goodness. Oh, God. All right, there he is, MC Open Wound. All right, there he goes, William Montgomery, right, everybody. William. We love you, William. Great job tonight. Yeah, that was great. 
So here we go. Moving along, ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the brother in cursive, the one, the only, the big red machine, yeah. Patsy Klein's craziest of the crazies, one of my favorite top young rising comedians in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for William Montgomery. Please drop. <laughs> hey, cheers, y'all. Uh, please take a seat. Uh, what's up? I was metal detected earlier. Uh, the Dixie Chicks. What about my toe and shit? Uh, a lot of people want to want to shit on Chris Delia, but that's not his fetish. Whatever happened to the stop and move away from the vehicle guy? No, really. Whatever happened to that guy? Uh, Chris Angel's greatest trick is how he made himself disappear. It's pretty obvious a black guy named it Cracker Barrel. Oh. <laughs> no, but seriously, I want to give a rest in peace to Judy B Judith Barcy. She was uh, the little dinosaur on that dinosaur movie late 80s. Judith Barcy's father shot her in the head, tried to burn the house down make it look like an accident. I just want to give it up for Judith Barcy tonight, y'all. I got COVID virus. <laughs> All right, William Montgomery, there you go. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, William, turn your uh, camera sideways. Yep. Hey, Red Dance, Turn your camera say that sideways. a little bit slower, you bitch. Why? I got COVID <laughs> virus. Turn your camera sideways, William. Jesus. General Robert E. Lee, turn that shit sideways. There you yeah. go. Very good. Widescreen, motherfucker. Yeah, nobody ever wants to talk about him. General Robert E. Lee. They took David, the statue down. You're going to bring that shit up tonight? <laughs> What's up, man? What you drinking tonight? What do you mean, what am I everything tonight? A <laughs> little bit of high C. Uh, mixed with a little bit of bunch. You better leave mixed that. with a little bit of Sprite. Leave that kerosene alone, bro. You mixed what? Stop drinking that kerosene, dog. What are you saying? What does that mean? Is that a black guy? <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> William, William I, all, I always feel like William's like one drink away from just saying the N-word on this show. It's, he it's said scary. it to me before. Yeah. Really? He, he always person. says hey, what it. What pussy yeah. said that? What pussy said that? I said that. That was Koro Ninja, one of the newest yes. members of the Mortal Koro Kombat. Koro Ninja, I haven't liked you since five days ago. I swear to God, I will break into your parents' crib or house or whatever you want to call it. He got your girlfriend underwear on his face. Don't fuck with me. Stay over there! <laughs> Don't fuck with me. William, how you been doing this week? What's going on with your mental health and things like that? I bought, Tony, I bought $400 worth of board games on eBay. I bought $200. It's a good investment. Worth of the sub... Do you really believe that, Tony? Yeah, those are all going to be worth a lot more money. <laughs> Have you bought any uh, Aunt Jemima syrup lately? <laughs> Can you say that a little bit slower, you bitch? <laughs> William has a little fucking fire to him right, tonight. You hang around too many black people. It's hard yeah, for him to I'm understand things. Tonight. What'd you just say, David? <laughs> You've been hanging around too many black people talking about you What'd bitch. you just say, David? <laughs> too many black girls? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny it looks like you're actually Tony, looking at him here in the studio what, Tony? it looks like you're actually looking at david in the studio with the where the way the tv's angled and everything went and now it looks like you're looking at me whoa now, now you're, you're looking, looking at, at joel Jeremiah's crotch yo Coral here's Ninja. something i wrote hey jeremiah how have boogie nights been on wednesdays what does that mean? Will you say that slower, you bitch? Oh, Coro, come on. You're going to anger him. Hey, Jeremiah, how have boogie <laughs> nights been on, on Wednesdays? Wednesdays? I don't really get it. Can you explain that a little bit? 
Come on, Yosemite Sam. Two years ago, Jeremiah and I, before he met his wife, he showed me the ways of whatever you want to call it down in Thailand. We were having <laughs> sex with people. Wow. In my hotel room, Jeremiah was on fire. This is if you want to call it. This is wild because we know everything William Montgomery has ever said is 100% honest and true. So, yeah. Jeremiah, what do you think about these accusations? Uh, they're not actually accusations. I'm being outed right now. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Cancel. Jeremiah. <laughs> yeah, I was on fire day, in Thailand having sex with people. Walked up the steps and we shot her. And then I said, nobody ever wants to talk about that. And Jeremiah, you said, William, you're so funny. Just maybe. <laughs> what else did Jeremiah say when you were in Thailand? Oh, I already know what. <laughs> what are you freaking turd. You freaking turd, <laughs> Inchcliff. I saw you motioning to Red Band to get this ready. I can't believe you would do that to me. William, what else did Jeremiah Oh, yeah. What else did I say over there in Thailand, William? Eyes. I just got $8,000 from the government. I'm buying a house. Black Lives Matter. <laughs> and Jeremiah, I told you, you can't buy an $8,000 house. We're not still in the Orient. Hey, William, what else did I say? Do I have your intention? <laughs> I take no, responsibility. You said, you said to me... So, Judith Marcy, I get it. You're sad her father killed her. Is it true she was the little girl in the cartoon? I think it was 1989. The fuck? Uh, All dogs go to heaven. What are you You talking about? Who's said something about that? I mean, why do you bring that up? That's not fucking funny. Hey, how's work, though, Will? For real, though? He's just talking about our history together. That's it. That's all it is. How's work? How's my work? I got fired two weeks ago. <laughs> Man, you just started working last week. Yeah, I started working at at Walmart. Whatever you want to call it. What do you? I got fired two weeks ago. What do you? I sell shampoo. You need a bottle of water, shampoo. bro. That was my next question. What do you do at Walmart? Clearly, you're the shampoo guy. You need a bottle of water and a nap. Okay. <laughs> uh, wow. Where is he at? It, this does not seem like... He's at a Cabo Cantina. The backyard that we're used to. Yeah, is this a different backyard? Are you wearing a shirt? This is a different place. Are you no, we- I'm not wearing a shirt. Wow. wow. Look, see the red dot. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, William. Oh, jeez. Oh, William, you are shaped like a... <laughs> Coffee. I'm having fun tonight. I'm shaped like a what? Like uh, like a uh, a coffee uh, mug pot. Like, like a, a pot. coffin? No, like a coffee pot. Like yeah. what you pour coffee yeah. out of into a cup. Like the tea kettle like from... Like a coffin. Yeah, like the Kool-Aid Man pitcher. You're telling me I'm shaped like a coffin? Actually, yes. A coffin works as well. <laughs> uh, you get wider in the middle the as tea, you go down. The tea kettle from Beauty and the Beast. You're yep. shaped like the ghost from Super Mario. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That was really good, you bitch. I'm sorry, can you say that Super slower, Mario. you bitch? You faggot. Oh, oh Whoa. shit. You're trying to get canceled, bro. Wow. Right, so you're going to have your YouTube page with a I'm bunch of... you're lucky you're not in the fucking studio July right fall. now. Oh my Y'all do God. the math on that one. Oh, you fuck. The, you're not going to be able to I've do anything. I've had enough. Judith Barcy is in the grave. Who's Judith Barcy? Final question, then we'll she let you go. She murdered in Thailand. by her father. Oh. Late 80s, out here in Los Angeles. And Tony, honestly, why I bring it up, I'm worried I'm going to get murdered. There is someone who won't stop snail mailing me. What is snail mail? It's the uh, regular USPS. (laughs) All right, I I baited you into that one, Tony. You got hey, me. Hey, Tony, what about next week? I can show up at the studio. Oh, no, no uh, chance, dude. <laughs> hey, Jeremiah, what about next week? I can show up at the studio. Yeah, we can talk about it. There's not enough. Okay, uh... you punk. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I just said we're, we won't talk about it. Like, you yes. fucked with me two years ago, dude. I got a bitch pregnant. Oh, my goodness. We're fine. I out. have a child. I said I'll have you on the show. Calm down. Huh? I have a kid. God, <laughs> William, I'm gonna In have Indiana. you on. 
You what's, better be glad you ain't black, bro. You'd have been on got I shot by the police. What? My kid's black. <laughs> William, what's your kid's name? What did you name your child that you're not a father to? What's the kid's name? Sunflower seed. <laughs> Sunflower seed. That's funny. <laughs> no, William, what's his real name? I want you to answer this. Uh, David Nickel. <laughs> Whoa. What did you just say? Yeah, I don't think you're allowed to say that you, word. You shouldn't be saying David that. David Nickel. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> It's my three-year-old son, and he don't give a shit no more. Wow. Y'all are talking about COVID. He's got it, and he's getting on airplanes. Wow. The three-year-old's just getting on airplanes by himself? He's getting on airplanes. <laughs> I'm messaging him with his earplug, his ear thing, mm. Mm. and he's making people sick. Okay. All right. That sounds we good. We don't care anymore. We're infecting everyone. Hmm. My goodness. I bought $400 worth of Monopoly boards on eBay three nights ago. Why'd you do that? I don't give a shit anymore, Tony. Why did you buy all those Monopoly boards, William? Because I don't care anymore, man. I think I can jump off of a one-story building. Do it right now. Do it. Do it. This will be podcast history. Ladies and gentlemen, last week he climbed a tree. This week he's going to jump off of a one-story building. This is the first time this has ever been done. Not only in... Tony, what a great idea. Yeah, it was your idea. I'm kidding. It's a joke. Oh, okay. You sobered up dead, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I sobered up dead. <laughs> Two weeks ago, I jumped off the I got his room. shit together. I didn't care no more. This is like a... T- I heard about <laughs> Judith Barcy getting killed by... All right, all right. Like There's a limit to how many Judith anymore. Barcy references this, this I can like have. This is like a tape that the cops find in an abandoned house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, William. Hey, was that a Hispanic person? Yeah, was it was. A you little bit fuck. Low. Yeah. yeah. We feel like we're watching the Blair Bitch Project right now. Oh! Oh! That was hilarious. Who said that? Totally Raiden. That was Raiden. Yeah, what is this? Raiden. Four Leaf hey, Cloverfield. Raiden, good job. Okay. I'm now going to move back to Memphis. <laughs> okay. My comedy's not working anymore, Raiden. That was hilarious, w- you bitch. When did you start the comedy? William, absolutely hilarious. I love that. Uh, I love that you're still uh, writing jokes. Um, that's going to keep that uh, that muscle strong for you. You have a very silly style that still works during this pandemic, even online. And I absolutely love it. You had Red Band and I almost fall out of our chairs on your "Please Stop" while the band was playing music. <laughs> absolutely hilarious timing and execution of that. And at some uh, point, y'all let me. I want to come hang with y'all again. No. We are, we are. We're going to get. Uh, we just need. Uh, we just VR, need VR. VR. Yeah, we just need seven more Dyson air purifiers, and then Spencer, <laughs> Spencer Edwards. There you go. There goes William Montgomery. Everybody, this is the part where you just start saying random made up names. <laughs> now you got to get rid of them. <laughs> Judith Barcy, Spencer Edwards, David Nichol. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a legend on this show. You have to wait. You have to wait like a professional. Uh, he is uh, the longest tenured regular in the history of the show. Um, he is known as the Big Red Machine. This is his first time back at the Comedy Store in a long time. He was so excited that he almost ran up on the stage <laughs> before I even said anything about him at all. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the return to get things started of William Montgomery, everybody. Here he is. Wow. What's up, y'all? I'm uh, now Hispanic. You can call me Selena. I do have COVID-14. Uh, I am making a sequel to Saving Silverman. It's where I convince Jonathan Silverman not to jump. Uh, Did anyone else think the granny and Mrs. Doubtfire looked like Robin Williams? Uh, All it takes is a tongue to make the peace sign vulgar. That's a pussy joke. Um... I'm making a new uh, butterfly effect movie, but every time the uh, story is retold, you just end up being a basketball player. (laughs) Mitch told me that. That didn't work, you piece of shit. Um, If we're talking about Syria, we're not talking about Jesus. We're talking about Brandon. 
Fuck yeah, William Montgomery. The return of William Montgomery. William, how are you? It is so nice to be here. I feel a breeze on my penis. Is it showing? Nope. Uh, Well, actually, your zipper is down. Now, you said you broke your your shorts last week. You told me this. Uh, You still haven't fixed them or bought a new pair of shorts. Yeah, I've gained weight. Now, I bought a size 40 waist. Uh, Uh, And it turned out to be too big. It was a little too husky. Let me see. What do you have a belt there? Yeah, you do. You have a little elastic belt. Oh, my God. Look at your stomach. Basically, I'm still working at the storage unit place. I think I'm fired now. But I was uh, showing someone, uh, uh, I don't know, 10 by 10, 10 by 15 something, telling them the amenities, and I felt a breeze on my penis. And I looked down, and my penis was poking out of my boxers. Is that true? It's true. So it was out of your boxers and out of the open hole in your pants? It was just, my penis head was just out of my boxers. How about your pubic hair? You've, have you been manscaping? I have never messed with my pubes. So that's a little beef I got with y'all with the manscaping. Yeah. I think the women uh, <laughs> like a full bush. You do. Have you ever, but you've never even seen their reaction to anything else? No, I have. In South Korea, two years ago, I was there. The women were like, oh, you have red. You, oh, you have red hair. Yeah. Wait, wait, what do they say? Oh, you have red hair. Yeah. They, you have red what? Hair. Oh, red hair. That's what they Oh, say. you have red hair. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I showed her my pubes, and uh, some of my pubes are longer than my penis. Yep. Yeah, you need to manscape. The new I'm not manscaping. S- what were you just saying? Who said that? It was the cat burglar right there. I'm glad it wasn't you, you motherfucker. Whoa, cat burglar too. That first thing you said tonight was not good. Wow. What did he say? Oh, hey, what's up? I like Aunt Jemima. He didn't even say that, William. He's a racist piece of shit from Arkansas. He went to the University of Arkansas. Did you just see Mrs. Doubtfire this week for the first time? I did. I saw that in Aliens 3. Aliens 3. Well, what an interesting... Uh, where do you usually watch your movies at? What a library. <laughs> at a library. That was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Red Band, I wish you were Jamaican like Sean Paul. Why do you, why do you wish that? I was hoping that was going to get a bunch of laughter. It took me a There's while to write here. that There's one. There's not even people in the room. How could hey, you? Red Man, I th- would wish you were Jamaican like Sean Paul. <laughs> William, what'd you do this week? Anything uh, Anything healthy? I got, well, I got my review back from work literally after two years. You would think I was the worst employee they've had. Um, I didn't get a raise. I still make minimum wage after two fucking years. But they give you they give you health insurance. What benefits. was that noise? I picture me being with Princess Diana, just with the drunk guy driving, just him making that noise before he hits the pole. That's actually what happened. Yep. There it is. That's Meh. what it sounded like. <laughs> so William, two years minimum wage still at this job, but they give you health insurance. Is that correct? They do. And do you ever use that health insurance? I do. What did you use it for during the pandemic? I have uh, what people called a... Hammer uh, toe. A ascending testicle. I have a testicle in my ball sack that goes up into my tummy. I had to pay... Is, 50, that, what that, is that what that is that protrudes out of your tummy? had to pay $1,500 out of pocket. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Michael, shut it down, dude. <laughs> you don't this wanna... isn't working out. You don't... And I hate that bitch came with you. Oh my you know God. I hate her, dude. Oh, my God, William. Get her the fuck out of here. William, nobody's even over there. Dude, Michael, you know I hate her, dude. Nobody's over there, William. You have a lot of anger in, in you this week. I do. After the, the bad report at work, I swear to God, Tony. What exactly did that report say? Word for word, I want to know exactly what the report said. It said, said I don't do good at the sales calls. It said I have low energy. Let's um, try it. Let's see what one of those feels like. I'm calling you right now. Okay, I'm calling you. You pick up. 
Hey, uh, thanks for calling storage, etc. This is William. Hi, How William. How can I help uh, you? Uh, oh, oh, okay. Uh, I was, I'm interested in uh, having a uh, storage unit. I need to put some uh, shit in it. What thing. are you storing? I'm storing a, uh, a bunch of uh, baseball cards. What do you I need to store? Baseball cards. cards How long do you need them? to store? A lot of them. A lot How are you getting your things here? Uh, a I car? Yeah, actually, yes. A okay. Car. Five by five, 77 bucks. How does that sound? Man, you sound like a shitty salesperson. Come on, Tony. You start at the smallest storage unit? Five by five, you have baseball cards. Five by five, what are you back bye in my South five. Korea? <laughs> yeah, I'm in South Korea right now. Five by five. Bye, mine, five. I have a question for William. Cat burglar. Yes, do you ever rent out your stomach as storage space? Because there is a lot there to work with. Ooh. That was really funny. So, William, uh, w other thoughts by w about watching Mrs. Doubtfire this weekend? By the way, the granny in Mrs. Doubtfire was Robin Williams. That's why she looked. Was it like really? It. Oh yep. no! Yep. What happened to him? He had a disease or something. Why did he kill himself? Oh my goodness! Yeah, no, that's that's mental. He was funny. I loved him uh, when he played the genie. Yep, Aladdin. Is that what Loved that Aladdin. Is that Aladdin. You ain't never had a friend like me. Yeah, oh, I, yeah, I was in Aladdin. Oh, you were in Aladdin. I was in Aladdin. Wow, I didn't, I didn't notice you there. What character did you play in Aladdin? I played one of the street urchins with three, the three Barsi twins. Judith, what are y'all fucking doing here right now? William, don't acknowledge anything that you see. I'm kidding. We, I kissed one of them one time, and the two brothers nope, went after me. No, there's nothing. There's nothing going on over okay. there, William. Okay. Just focus on the questions. So the Barsies. Red what Band, what's going oh, okay. on? Why'd you do that finger thing? What? Don't Why'd worry you do about that it, man. Why'd you worry thing? about being funny, huh? What do you Whoa. mean? I, I've, I've been waiting. I I'm about were... to lose my job. Yeah. Well, why, why don't you bring it to the stage, man? Because what do you mean, bring it to hilarious. the stage? Let's talk about you losing your job. That's funny. Seriously, what do you mean? Yeah, you're spitting There's all a lot over. of particles going on in there. I'm sick right now. They measured my temperature. I have 101. Wow. That's a joke. That's a fever in my book. That's a joke for all the health department people watching yeah. live right yeah, now. Yeah, good luck to the piece of shit that talks in this thing next. <laughs> Danny, Danny up in the bird's nest just put his mask on, too. Good job, Danny, you pussy. No, don't make fun of Danny. No, yeah, look. I'm telling you. I, tried I was kidding, Danny. I love you, dude. I tried to warn you. You can't Remember make fun of Danny. Remember when we kissed two weeks no, ago? No, don't do that. Oh, it's oh. William. That doesn't work. You can't make fun of Danny. I know. I love him. There you go. Um, Danny, uh, give me the peace sign. Okay. How's uh, your relationship going? Are, are you uh, you still with that girl that beats we you up? We are. We are going to Las Vegas tomorrow. Oh, that's cool. She's going you, to Vegas tomorrow. Are you, you going to take that other comedian that she was fucking before you? <laughs> I am thinking about it. The guy. It turns out the guy is very nice. We met a couple weeks ago at a bowling alley, just in the parking lot. They're obviously yeah. closed, but. We met each other. He seems super nice. He's coming along with us to the Bellagio. Yeah, I bet um, he is. I bet, I bet you guys are Super be... excited. Um, he doesn't have pubes. I do. No. Oh. So it's sort of a, it's sort of a hodge, hodgepodge. What happened to his pubes? Did they all get lost in your girlfriend's vagina when it he was, was fucking a, her? It was an issue of a fire. Oh. How, who's, who started, who's going to start the fire? I swear to God. <laughs> no, but seriously, if y'all ask me, sort of one of my one of my biggest fantasies is being with that guy who brought it's all okay. the weapons so you don't up. Need to start playing. Who's gonna start? He the fire? brought all the weapons nope. up okay. to that hotel room in Vegas and started shooting all of those people at the country music concert. <laughs> what are you? I swear to God, y'all, in my fantasy world. When the South Korean chick is looking at my pubes and I get pissed and I'm hanging out with the guy that used to go out with my girlfriend, I'm going to be clutching on to one of my weapons, break out one of the fucking windows and start fucking shooting. 
I noticed you started sweating a lot more when I brought up that comedian that was fucking your girlfriend before. Uh, <laughs> like, you're covered in sweat. Now, I did. First, I don't know really. The first eight minutes, you were up here cussing at everybody, having a good old time. I brought up one guy fucking laying pipe into your girlfriend. Now you're dripping with sweat. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Another story. What am I saying? Who's saying Williams that? Girlfriend's vagina. Oh. It's not funny anymore, y'all. <laughs> I think we're going to get married in Vegas this week. Oh, my oh God. God. Are you really That's thinking about like that? Yeah, I'm really thinking about it. You should go back to that bowling alley and split. Can hey, you say that a little bit slower? Have you ever have you ever considered that there's probably a, never been a worse time to go to Las Vegas than right now? Did Do you, th- you think it's safe if I wear a face mask? The new slogan is, what happens in Vegas comes back with you to Los Angeles. <laughs> That's true. You might not. If you go to Vegas, you might not be able to join us. Yeah, next you week. won't be able to next week either to do the brothers and curse. Come or on, kill Tony. No, Come on, don't go to Vegas. Come on, no, stay in LA. Come serious. on, You're, you work for minimum wage at a storage facility. You them. know, you know what I heard earlier. What are you I had two do? people go there and put your sixty bucks all on black or something. Yeah, everything's closed. I put it also. on red. Okay, I really do. I'm looking forward to playing roulette. Talking about, yeah, the podcast, I loved it. Two people alerted me, Burt Kreischer and uh, what's his name? Tom Segura. Tom Segura, at the end of their podcast today, they had a uh, a freestyle episode. Uh-huh. So I love it, but I, I see that. Uh-huh. And it horrifies me. Why? And I start thinking... Where do you motherfuckers live? Do y'all think I don't drive a car around? Do y'all think I can't find your <laughs> pussies on some sort of winding road? Do y'all really think I have anything to lose? Because I swear to God, I fucking don't. Okay. I okay. will find where y'all live if y'all keep stealing my shit. What did they, what happened? Like, oh, that is right. Burt Kreischer famously says He took my nightmare thing nightmare. and then and then he took the freestyle thing. And again, what was I the swear freestyle to, thing? What freestyle thing did you just do? Just at the end, David Lucas and I are thing we freestyle. Oh, I didn't know that you guys Some do people that. alerted I've me. I've never made it to the end of one of the episodes of your podcast, so. That's pretty funny. All right. William, fun times, dude. Way to get the party started here tonight. This is very unorthodox and audienceless. It uh, is so nice to actually see y'all tonight. Yeah, for sure. This is the first time that we've seen William in months because we're dead. And the Barcy old. twins. Let's give it up the for bar- them, y'all. The Barcy twins. Absolutely. Yeah, there you go. That's a great idea. I'm kidding. Right. There you go. It's three of Wi- them. William Montgomery, everybody. William Montgomery. <laughs> There he goes. He touched me. You don't start. The- All right. There's only one person left to perform tonight. Uh, we're so excited about it. Um, his stock is uh, crashing through the uh, floor. I mean, this guy was once beloved on this show. He, at one point, was the only regular on this show. And then once he started to fade out a bit, I brought in David Lucas so that he would get his shit together um, and write harder and work harder. And then uh, a few months after that, he started to crash again. We brought in Michael Lair, who absolutely started stealing episode after episode after episode. He upped his game yet again. And now he's crashing yet again, disappointing people from the management to the band to the host of the show to the other regulars. And now he's here to perform for you right now. Closing out tonight's show, William, the Big Red Machine, Montgomery. He's fighting off his back here tonight. A lot of people disappointed in him. How do I fucking stand and talk into this? I'm kidding. That was my joke I've been working on. No, but seriously, Elliot and I had sex last week. Uh, We're expecting. No, I'm kidding. Y'all are in for a treat. This probably, Jeremiah, might be my best set. Um, If we're in Syria, we ain't talking about Jesus. We talking about Brandon. Uh, Y'all ever watch The Sixth Sense? Because that's... 
been happening to me this past week. Every time I turn on the sixth sense, I'm like, hold up, is that Brandon? Uh, if you're in the parking lot of the comedy store, please leave any excess syringes in the tip jar. Uh, Darius Rucker from Hootie and the Blowfish is now single. That's way better news than if I told you Darius Rucker released a new single. Uh, if they defunded the Ghostbusters, who are you going to call? So it's probably my best. Can I say the the next one? Yeah, you want one to work? Maybe that one will work. Go ahead. One to work on. Um, one of my favorite bands is Traffic. Uh, one of my least favorite bands is Child Traffic. Oh, boy. All right, William Montgomery. That was his set this week. He had a lot riding on this, people. A lot riding you on this. You could say that, Tony. Yeah. I have this mask on now because I got something called diabetes. Oh, boy. Coming off a wild week this week. He Coming off a $3,000 loss <laughs> from one of those games you put the, the little marble on. Uh, roulette. Roulette. Lost 3000 fucking dollars. Y'all get a good look at these eyes right now. I'm heading back to Memphis. Yep. I lost all my fucking money. I'm gone. And you're also in the process of losing your job. Is that correct? It is correct. I'm worried about this thing. They call COVID. Hold on. What's that guy's name, Brandon? Jeremiah, you told me to say that joke. I don't think he did. There's something weird going on with your mask. It's very anteatery. There's a, there's <laughs> anteatery. A, yeah, it's anteatery. That's what I did in Vegas. You anteateried? Ate a bunch of butter.